So welcome back. I am Srikant Singh, and today I am going to take another lecture on data structures. In my last video, we have studied about that what is the use of dynamic memory allocation, how we basically implement the dynamic memory allocation. And in this video, we are going to see the program related to dynamic memory allocation, the malloc and free functions. Before I start my lecture, I request you all to please subscribe my channel Sriman Educatics. Now let us proceed. So in my last lecture, I was uh, uh, teaching you about that what basically dynamic memory allocation is these were the contents that we uh, were discussed in our further videos so we were start discussing about dynamic memory allocation and uh, we have discussed the problem with arrays what is the better solution than memory allocation functions allocating a block of memory and this was the example which i discussed la at last in the uh, previous video so now let us move to the program part that how basically the uh, malloc array work so using the malloc array once the memory is located it can be used with pointers or with array notation so we all know that malloc is a function which is used to assign a memory to the function or to the variable we use it to assign the memory to the variable uh, now uh, let us see the example here in example we have uh, three variables of integer type while one is of pointer uh, now we we are taking the input from the user scanf percent d and percent and it means that we are going to take input from the user percent d is the access uh, sorry format specifier now let us uh, discuss it in detail with the help of the program so this is the program related to the dynamic memory allocation so first we have two header files stdio and stdlib.h i'll explain that why we have included stdlib.h now uh, we have started the function with the main function here we are going to declare two variable one is of pointer type while other two will be of uh, simple without pointer now the both the variables will be of integer type so first of all we have created int ptr which is a pointer variable and then we have created two variables int n and i now what we have to do we have to take the number of elements we want in the array in my previous video what i have discussed that in dynamic memory allocation we can have memory at the runtime while in case of array we have the memory at the compile time now the user will enter that how many uh, elements in the array he want if he is entering 10 it means that 10 uh, memory blocks will be assigned if he is entering 20 then it means that 20 memory block will be assigned so here uh, a message gets printed on the screen enter number of elements so after uh, getting the message the user will enter the number of elements he wants suppose that a user is um, entering the data of a student and his target is to enter the data of 100 students in a day so he will write here the value 100 and that 100 will be transferred to the address of the variable and which it was declared previously so as you can see that here we have declared int n and i here the value 100 will be transferred to the variable and with the help of this statement is scan a person d and n and in the next line here we have entered num ent entered number of element is percent d and this is the uh, message we will get after entering the number uh, suppose that if i i have entered 100 then i'll get the message that entered number of element is 100 here again percent d is format specifier backslash n uh, is used to is a kind of escape sequence which is used to change the line and n is the variable in which we have kept the value now uh, 
we have declared the number of elements we want now the task is to uh, assign the memory to them how we can assign the memory to them we can assign the memory with the help of malloc function we can allocate the memory with the help of malloc function m a double l o c now the pointer which we have declared will be the uh, variable which is responsible for the memory now what we are doing that we are assigning the memory that is equals to the size of integers multiplied by the number of elements that we have used if the size of integer is 2 byte then the memory will be assigned 100 into 2 that is 200 byte if the size of integer is uh, 4 byte then the memory will be assigned uh, 400 bytes now here the ptr here what what we have written ptr equals to int multiplied by malloc uh, sorry int uh, is a kind of pointer malloc and multiplied by size of integer so size of integer is 2 byte or 4 byte so that amount of memory will be assigned here now what we are going to do we are going to check whether memory is assigned successfully or not it is allocated by malloc or not so now let us check that how we can check it now this is the this um, program section in which we are going to discuss that whether memory is allocated or not when we have declared the pointer ptr the value that is assigned to it was null now if the value of ptr is still null it means that memory is not allocated and here we are using the function exit exit function is defined in the header file stdlib.h that's why we have included stdlib.h in the program now else if the pointer is not equals to null then memory has been successfully allocated and we will get a message on the screen memory successfully allocated using malloc now we want to get the elements we want to get the elements of the array if we have declared 100 elements then we will get the numbers from 1 to 100 if we have declared 10 elements then we will get the numbers from 1 to 10 so here for that purpose we have declared a loop which is starting from 0 and it is going to uh, less than n it means that uh, as we all know that array index starts from 0 so we have initialized the uh, variable i uh, which was of integer type uh, as we have all seen that at the time of declaration we have made it of integer type so here we are using a uh, pre-increment and now we are calling the numbers we are calling the elements that we have stored in the array now you all can see that we have not declared ptr of array type we have declared it of pointer type but here it is access like array so it means that memory is allocated like array but it is allocated dynamically and uh, in the output what we are getting in the output we are getting the uh, number which we have already stored here we have uh, we are assigning the values to the elements and here we are printing the values of the elements so now let us see how this program will work uh, let us see the output of the program so now let us see I have to type the same program in the code blocks uh, application and you can see that here we have the same header file stdio.h stdlib.h and the same uh, program which I was showing to you so now let us see that how this program is running I am going to uh, run this program I'm clicking on run now you can see that it is asking for number of elements I'm entering 10 so 10 is the number of element 10 memory blocks will be allocated and the numbers from 1 to 10 will get printed on the screen so now let us see I'm pressing enter now you can see that enter number of element was 10 memory successfully allocated using malloc function the element of array are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The number from 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 to 10 is uh, inserted into the array with the help of dynamic memory allocation. So, with the help of this example, you can understand the concept that in case of dynamic memory allocation, we assign the memory we allocate the memory without using the array 
we allocate the memory with the help of malloc function so thank you guys for today